Hello and welcome to the Booked Scheduler tutorial series. My name is Nick Corbel. I am the primary author of Booked. I am also the founder and president of Twinkle Toast Software. We provide hosting, enterprise support, and custom development for Booked Scheduler. Today we're going to talk about installing Booked Scheduler on your server. The first thing you'll need to do is download Booked. You can do that by going to bookedscheduler.com and clicking on the download link at the top. The next thing we're going to need to do is create the database. We're assuming that you have a tool like cPanel available with the MySQL database wizard available. You'll want to enter a database name for Booked. In this case, we're choosing simply Booked. Click the next step, and then we'll need to create a database user. In this case, we'll just call that user, user. Enter the password, and then create user. For Booked, um, the user is going to need access to install and configure the database. So we're going to select all privileges here. Now that our database and our user have been created, we'll need to run the Booked installer. The first step in this process is to copy the config.dist.php file as config.php. You can find this file in the config folder. The next step is to make a few edits to that file to reflect the database and the user that we've created. The very first thing you'll want to edit in this config file is the admin email address. This is the email address that we're going to register after the installation process completes. The other config setting that you want to double check is the script URL. You want to make sure that this matches your domain name and the full path to where you've installed Booked. There are a few other settings that we're going to need to, to put in place here before we can run the installation. This is the database user that we've just created. You want to make sure that this matches exactly. So if your host prepends a username to this, um, make sure that it's reflected here. The same for the database name. The final setting that we'll need to set up here is the installation password. In this case, I've just used 12345, but you want to make this something secure. You can use an online random string generator or a password generator to make a secure, uh, a secure string here. Now we're ready to run the booked installation process. We can get here by navigating to where we installed booked slash install. The first thing we'll be prompted for is the installation password that we just set in our config file. So we enter that and press next. Now we're asked for a MySQL user and password who has privileges to alter tables. Since we set up our booked user with these privileges, we'll just use him. We click run installation and then we're presented with a series of success messages telling us what has been installed. If everything's green, we're ready to go. The final step in the installation process is registering our admin user. So we click register here. In this case, we'll use the username admin. We'll enter a password. And here we want to make sure that we use the same admin email address that we set in our config file. We enter our security code and click register. After we've completed the registration process, you'll be logged in as an application administrator. In the next video, we'll talk about how to do some basic configuration for Booked to get you set up. Thank you very much for attending this tutorial. Again, my name is Nick Corbel. Please visit us online at bookedscheduler.com or twinkletoesoftware.com. Thank you.